Hi friends, we're back. Hi guys. Look, today, who do I see out there in TV land? I don't know. Well, come on, look with me, Harry. Hmm, who do you see? Hmm, I see, oh, I see Silas. Hi Silas. Who else do we see out there? Hmm. I see. She sees Gage. I do. I see Gage. Hi, Gage. Hi, Gage. Who else do I see out there? Hmm. I don't know. She sees Grayson. I see Grayson. Hi, Grayson. Hi, Grayson. Hmm. Who else do I see out there? Hmm. Who do we see? Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Who's that? It's who? It is. It's Bentley. Hi, Bentley. Hi, Bentley. Wow. We see all sorts of friends out there. And I, I think I see Nolan. I could see Kieran. I could see Joey. I see Susan. I see Suzanne. Oh, lots of di different S's. Uh-huh. Who else do you see out there? I see lots of friends. I see lots of friends too. So let's get started, friends. Let's do some safety. Safety? Yeah, safety. The last time we were talking about safety things. You know, like when you go outside and you gotta hold mommy and daddy's hand, you gotta tell them where you're going. Oh, oh. But there's lots of things that you need to be safe about. Let's look at some cool pictures. Hmm, you get to tell me who's being safe, okay, and who's not being safe. Oh no, I know, it happens. So what do we see here? That's our first picture. Oh, oh no. Do you see someone being not safe, Larry? I do. He's not being safe, Miss Sherry. He's not being safe. What is he doing, friends? He is running in the street. Oh, oh no! Is he holding mommy and daddy's hand? Nope. Not safe. Mm -hmm. What do we do when we go outside to be safe? Do you remember? We what? Hold hands. That's right. We've got to hold a grown-up's hand because they will keep us safe. We can't be running in the street, Larry. Oh, no, not in the street. Not in the street, guys. Not safe. Look, that little boy, oh, he's going to get hit by a car. Oh, no. Hold mommy or daddy's hand or grandma or grandpa or a teacher or another grown-up. Mm -hmm. Is this safe, Larry? Yes, it is. It is safe, guys. Let's look at our next picture. Hmm. Oh. What's going on? He's standing on the slide. He is standing on the slide. Is that safe? No, it's not. Now you gotta climb up, right? Uh huh. But you shouldn't stand on the slide. If you stand on the slide, you could slip and fall. What should you do, Larry? Oh boy, I like this boy. Why do you like him? He's sitting on his bottom and holding on to the sides. He is. He's sitting on the bottom and he's sliding down with his hands on the sides. He's being safe. Yes, he is. Is he standing on the slide? No. Is he going down face first? No. He's doing what? He's sitting on his bottom with his hands on the sides. That is safe. We want to keep you safe, don't we, Mary? Oh, oh. What else do you see, Larry? Oh, 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 what is that little boy doing? He's, he's kneeling in the chair. He could fall over. He could get hurt. He could bang his head. He could. Is standing in the chair like that safe? That's not how we sit. Uh-oh, what do you see there? Oh, I like it. I like it too, Larry. What are they doing, guys? They're sitting on their bottoms with their feet on the floor. 
Yeah, that way they can play with it. Look how nicely they're playing with the toys too. They're sharing and taking turns, but they're sitting safely with their bottom in the seat and their feet on the floor. That's safe. I like that. Those are three great ways to be safe, right? Oh, huh. do we run in the street? No, safe. Do we hold hands? Yes, we do. Do we stand on the slide? No, we don't. Not safe. How do we go down the slide, Larry? Bottom on the slide, hands on the side. Good job. What about that? How do we sit? Oh, oh no, not safe. Not safe, little boy. That's safe with your bottom in your seat and your feet on the floor. You won't fall down anymore. I like that song. Can you sing that with Larry? Say, put your bottom in your seat and your feet on the floor and you won't fall down anymore. I like it. What about don't run in the street or you'll get hurt. Hold the hands of a grown up. Don't run in the street or you'll get hurt. Hold the hands of a grown up. I like it. What about that one? Put your bottom on the slide and hold on to the side. Then you can have fun all day. Put your bottom on the slide and your hands on the side. And you'll be safe all day. Wow, Larry, you're being really musical today. I kind of like it. Oh, thank you. Well, I like how you're being safe. Thank you very much. I, well, you're welcome. But you know what else we talked about? We talked about using the potty and being grown up because being safe, right? Oh, uh -huh. you're being grown up. You're growing up. You're thinking. You're not just acting. You're thinking first. You're playing like Tucker, right? You're stopping. You're tucking inside. You're thinking about a solution. Oh, I like Tucker. I like Tucker too. Do we remember the Tucker technique? Hmm, maybe we need to look at it. I think we need to look at our Tucker technique. There it is. So just like when we get angry or frustrated, we can think like Tucker to do make good choices, safe choices. Oh, uh huh. So if we run in the street or we're not looking, we could get hurt, right? Ouch, like Tucker, oh no. So we gotta stop, tuck inside, breathe deeply, friends. Good job, three times. And then what are you gonna do? Think of a solution. Oh, what's our solution for running? Uh-oh. Do we run in the street, Mr. Larry? No, we don't. Where do we run? On the playground with mommy and daddy or your teacher or grandma and grandpa. Yeah, good job. And when we go outside, how do we go outside, Larry? How do we go across the street safely? We hold a grown-up's hand. We don't run in the street. It's not safe. Hold the hand of a grown-up. Don't run in the street. It's not safe. Hold the hand of a grown-up. If we're on the playground, what do we do, Mr. Larry? Don't stand on the slide. You'll get hurt. Slide on your bottom and hold the sides. What about that? If we're inside the house, or inside the room, sit in the chair for safety. Not safe, little one. Sit on your bottom like your friends. Put your bottom in your seat and your feet on the floor. You'll be safe all day. I like that. Look how nice and safe they're being, friends. Can you be safe like that? Put your bottom in your seat 
and your feet on the floor, and you'll be safe all day. Good job, Larry. I like how safe you're being. You're thinking just like Tucker. So we talked about using the potty and being grown up, right? Because we're growing up. We're making good choices. We need to learn how to use a potty too, don't we, Mr. Nay? Yes, we do. So do we remember how to use the potty? Hmm. Let's use our chart and remember. First, we look for the potty. That's right. We got to look for the potty. Do you know where your potty is? I don't know. If you don't know, who do you ask? A grown-up. A grown-up. Mommy, Daddy, Grandma, Grandpa, Aunt, Uncle. Maybe a teacher. Uh-huh. So you go find the potty. Then what do you do? You got a BB. What do you do next? You're going to pull down your pants. Down, down, down. Down come the pants. Then what comes down? Down, down, down with the underwear. Down, down, down comes your underwear. So we don't get pee-pee on it. Then what do you do? Sit on the potty and pee, pee, pee. That's right. You sit on the potty. Look, he's being safe. He's got his bottom in the seat and his feet on the floor. Oh, Lord, I know. Then what do you do? Get some paper and wipe, wipe, wipe. That's right. Wipe, wipe, wipe with some paper. Then what happens? Pull the panties up, up, up. That's right. Pull your panties back up. Then what comes up? Up, up, up with the pants. That's right. Up come your pants. Then what do you do? Flush, flush, flush goes the potty. Down, down, down goes the potty. That's right. You got to flush the handle all the way down. <gasps> but then what do you do? You got to wash your hands. That's right. You've got to wash your hands. But what if you don't know? Oh, no. <gasps> do you know how to wash your hands and be nice and clean and safe? Hmm. I don't know, Larry. I don't remember. You don't remember how to do it? What do we need? A chart. We do need a chart. Hmm. Oh, look what we have here. We have a chart. I like it. I like it too. The first thing we do is go turn on the water. Can you say that with Larry? Turn on the water. Then what do you do? Get your hands wet. That's right. Got to get them wet. Then what do you do? Make lots of bubbles with the soap. Scrub, scrub, scrub. That's right. Scrub those bubbles. Scrub those hands clean. Then what do you do? We rinse them off in the sink. Clean, clean, clean. Look how they're standing right next to their sink, washing their hands, getting all clean. Then what do you do? You gotta get a paper towel or a regular towel and dry your hands off. That's right. And then you throw the towel, if it's paper, in the trash can. If it's a regular towel, where does it go? You hang it back up. That's right. You can hang it back up. So what's first? Turn on the water. Then what do you do? Get your hands wet. Then what do you do? Get those bubbles. That's right. Scrub up those bubbles. Then what do you do? Wash them off. Bubbles down the drain. Then what do you do? Dry off your hands with a paper towel or a regular towel. It makes your hands all dry. Then you're ready to play. That's right. Then you're ready to go back out and play. So we learned how to use the potty. We learned the steps. Pull down your panties. Oh, that's not right. It's not right? What do we do first, friends? Let's look at our chart. You gotta remember, because we're growing up. First, we find the potty. Then we pull down, down, down comes the pants. Then what, Larry? Hmm, down, down, down comes the underwear. 
Then what do you do, Larry? Sit on the potty. That's right. You sit on the potty. Then what do you do? Wipe off with the toilet paper. Then what do you do? Up, up, up comes the pants. The pants or the underwear? Oh, underwear. That's right. Then comes the what? The pants. Up, up, up with the pants. And then flush down, down, down with the potty. Then we wash our hands. Wow, you guys are learning so fast. Are you practicing that at home? I hope so. I hope so too. I hope that you're learning how to use the potty and how to wash your hands because that's part of being safe and it's part of being a big boy and big girl. Uh-huh. Gotta use that tucker. What happens if you're out with mommy and daddy and you've got to use the potty? Oh, no. What do you do? Get mommy and daddy and tell them. That's right. You're like having fun. All of a sudden you're like, uh oh, oh I feel like I've got a pee pee. Oh, no. What am I going to do, Larry? Tell mommy and daddy. Tell mommy and daddy or grandma and grandpa. Whoever you're with. Could be your aunt or your uncle. Mm -hmm. It could be your teacher. Mm -hmm. So you're going to stop and think, uh-oh, i got to go potty. Now think, think, one, two, three. Uh-oh, don't pee pee in my pants. i got to go do the potty. That's a solution. That's right. It is the solution. you got to stop and think. If you're outside, tell mommy, daddy, Aunt and uncle, grandma and grandpa, or your teacher, I have to pee pee. I need to go inside. And they'll make sure you get inside so you can use the potty and be a big boy and girl and not pee in your pants. I like it, Larry. Me too. So, is that part of being safe? Yes, it is. But what if you're still practicing and you need remembering? <gasps> How do you remember? Handy dandy chart. I like a handy dandy chart. It makes me feel better. It helps me remember until I know it all by heart. So at first you can use the chart. It says, I take down my pants all by myself. Then what? I sit on the potty for a little while. Yeah, to pee pee in the potty. Then what do you do? You go on the potty. You make the pee-pee or the poopy. Oh boy, that's a big boy or big girl. And then what do you do? You're all done. Wipe with the paper and flush it down. Good job. Then what do you do? You've got to wash your hands. That's right. You always have to remember to wash your hands. You don't want to be dirty. There's germs after you use the potty. Make sure to wash your hands. Follow your steps. Turn on the sink. Turn on the water. Uh, Larry, are you reading? Uh-oh. Did you forget? Uh-huh. Look at the chart. First we turn on the water. Then get your hands wet. Then... Get the bubbles. Make lots of soapy bubbles with your hands. Then wash them clean with the water. Wash, wash, wash. Bubbles down the drain. Then what do you do, Larry? Dry them off with a paper towel or a regular towel. See, you're remembering already, Larry. You're getting so smart. You're growing up to be a big lizard. Oh, boy. I know you can do it, Larry. Good job. High five. Good job. Thumbs up. <gasps> Did you forget that? Oh my goodness. Let's give Larry a big thumbs up. Are you ready? Say thumbs up. Good job. Okay. Let's move on to the next thing, Larry. I want to sing about the spider. You want to sing about the itsy bitsy spider? Mm-hmm. Why? Because he never gave up. 
He keeps trying and trying to get it right. He does. Are you ready? Let's sing the Itsy Bitsy Spider. The Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. But out came the sunshine and died upon the rain. And the Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the spout again. He, he never gave up. That's right. He never gave up. He never stopped trying. And don't you give up either. You can learn to be safe and be a big boy and girl by making good choices. Mm -hmm. What about head, shoulders, knees, and toes? Let's do that. I like that one. Do you like that one, Larry? Oh, all right. Let's do it. Guys, show me where your head, your shoulders, your knees, and your toes are. Then we'll do eyes, nose, mouth, and ears. I like it. I like it too. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. <sighs> Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Sing it with him, guys. The head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Knees and toes. You're too fast. You gotta go slower for me. Okay. Let's do it one more time. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Ready? Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Ready? Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. You guys did so good. Did you keep up? Did you point to all your parts? Your head, your shoulders, your knees, and your toes? Oh boy, what about the eyes, the ears, the mouth, and the nose? Yeah, I think you did them all. Excellent. Hmm, well, we've been talking about safety. We've been talking about using the potty. Let's go over safety one more time because you know, I know Tucker doesn't run in the street. <gasps> I know Tucker doesn't stand on the chair. I know Tucker doesn't stand on the slide either. He doesn't. Mm -mm. He's a safe turtle. You got to be safe like Tucker and think like Tucker. Do you remember how to tuck it in? Tuck it in. Good job. Ooh, I liked your tuck. Or do do. Let's talk about our safety one more time. You tell Tucker if it's safe or not. Hmm. Uh oh. Not safe. It's not safe. Do we run in the street? No way, Jose. No way. Don't do it. Not safe. Uh oh. That's safe. Hold the hand of mommy or daddy, aunt or uncle, or a teacher. Or grandma and grandpa. That's safe. I like it. Good choice. What about that, Larry? Oh no, little boy. Don't stand on the slide. How do you be safe, George? Larry? You have to sit on your bottom and your hands on the sides. Not safe. Good job, little boy. Uh-oh, Larry. Uh-oh. Not safe. Not safe. We sit in our chair with our bottom in our seat and our feet on the floor. Sing it with me, guys. Put your bottom in your seat and your feet 
on the floor and you'll be safe evermore. Wow, I like it. You want to be safe evermore? I do. One more time, Larry. Not safe. No running in the street. That's safe. Good job. Holding hands keeps you safe. <gasps> oh no, we don't stand on the slide. Put your bottom in your seat and your hands on the side and you can go down the slide. Oh no, little boy, that's not how we sit. Not safe. Oh, here we go. Put your bottom in your seat and your feet on the floor. You'll be safe evermore. Wow, I like Larry's song. Do you like Larry's song? I think it's a good song. I like how Larry and you guys are learning to be safe. Because that's what it's doing. You're being safe. You're growing up. You're getting smarter. Like Tucker the Turtle, making good choices, making solutions. Because mm -hmm. Larry's a lizard and turtles are his cousin. <gasps> really? Yeah. All lizards and stuff, they're dinosaur cousins. <gasps> that's really cool. I think it's really cool too. A long time ago, Larry's cousins were dinosaurs. Cool. I think so. Look, you still even have a, a point like a dinosaur and you got like spikes like a dinosaur. I like it. I think it's pretty cool. Me too. And then you evolved and now you're a lizard because we don't have dinosaurs anymore in real, in real life, but you're like a real life dinosaur, just smaller. Oh, neat. I like it. Yeah, like alligators, like a dinosaur. Yeah, ancient. But now they're smaller. Mm -hmm. But they're still not safe. Do we pet alligators? No. Oh, no. And Larry is my friend. I can pet him. And when we come see you, you can pet him too. But Larry is just a safe lizard. Mm -hmm. He's a smart lizard. How many lizards do you know that talk? I don't know too many. I don't know. There's a few. There's a few out there, I guess. Larry talks. He's a smart lizard. High five. Shh. Thumbs up. And okay. Good job. Well, we have a little more time. Oh my goodness. You know what we haven't done in a while? I know. Let's do it. Who is up for happy and you know it because i'm happy because you're learning and you're being smart we're going to do it we're going to do clap your hands stomp your feet shout hooray pat your head and then we'll do all four are you ready say if you're happy and you know it clap your hands if you're happy and you know it clap your hands if you're happy and you know it, then your face will really show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will really show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. Good job. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will really show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray! Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, pat your head! Pat, pat! If you're happy and you know it, pat your head! Pat, pat! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will really show it. If you're happy and you know it, pat your head! Pat, pat! If you're Happy and you know it, do all four. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray, pat your head. If you're happy and you know it, do all four. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray, pat your head. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will really show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all four. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray. Hooray! Pat your head! Wow! Did you guys do that with Larry? I bet you did. Thumbs up! Okay! You did a great job today. I hope
Hope to see you next time around. Say bye. Boo-boo. Bye, Larry. See you next time, guys.